Welcome to the Gaming Communities Podcast, where we will be talking about top games, new consoles, and the future in the gaming community. Today, we have two guests joining us. Hello, my name is Dave. Hello, my name is Daniel. The first topic we will be talking about today is the top games of 2020. Thing about Among Us is that it got extremely famous not only through news outlets, gaming choice news outlets, but mainly through entertainment like YouTube and Twitch. Um, those entertainers playing the game we enjoy watching because of their social deception and how, their style of playing. Yeah, they. <clears throat> the people who play, there are many different players who use different techniques and different ways of playing and figuring out who is who and who did what and what did they do. And this game is also probably because quarantine rules, everybody's trying to find a game that is that incorporates many, many people together like friends and family. And the one game of Among Us can hold up to 10 people, which is quite a lot. And that, is, that I think, is one of the factors why Among Us is very popular. Like, with Among Us being like, so popular, do you guys think um, that like any games in the future will be affected by this? In my opinion, just due to how famous Among Us has gotten, I bet there's gonna be some copies of the Among Us game, and probably um with box of Among Us. But then there's gonna be some actual really interested game developers who like the concept of Among Us and way a different party games that have around the same feeling as among us. Um so we're like maybe do like Genshin Impact and like these Japanese MMO titles like giving like a lot of popularity like Persona Five. Like what do you guys think about the MMO genre like in general? For me, like, I think the MMO, like, like, uh, what was it? MMO RPG style, like, with RPG MMO, I think it's just, like, addictive, because, like, you could see, like, your own strength growing, and, like, you could, you, you could actually, like, like, see how much time you invested it results in an increase of strength. But I also believe like that some people don't really like that. Uh, you think, oh my gosh, I like, I've spent so much time in this one get one section just to increase my power just by like five percent. Like what the heck? Um. So first of all, MMO or TG stands for Mass Multiplayer Online. Oh uh, yeah. World playing game. Yeah. Which would take account into something games like Destiny, Knights and Impact, World of Warcraft, those are some um popular games that are MMORPGs. And in my opinion, those type of games are for a specific type of people. Okay? Those people who do have a lot of time on their hand and they do enjoy the method of of getting a loop just for that tiny bit of extra power. Max max and maxing. And to max out their strength in the game. What what about Fall Guys? Do you think it was a popular game in 2020? Honestly, I really don't think Fall Guys is like like, one of the best games of 2020. It was like Anthem. Like, after a few months, it just died completely. Like, of course, like, there's a few people that will play it here and there. But as Fall Guys is a battle royale of mini games, 
Do you need a fan base though? I think the proper like the growth in Among Us actually just killed Fall Guys out white. Because before Among Us got really popular, Fall Guys was really popular on Twitch. And that's a, that's resulting in a lot of people playing Fall Guys, so I think Fall Guys just got popular due to like influences of of streamers of mass like of influencers of these social platforms. In my opinion with Fall Guys, it's there was a lot of hype going into Fall Guys in the beginning. So the they had a high standard to reach, but then they didn't release any more of these new mini games. They they have more mini games that they added. And for a battle royale that's only dealing with mini games, the amount of options is limited. And even though it's new and something of a good idea and something that we haven't seen before, because there is um things like the maps are almost exactly the same and some maps people really don't like. I feel like the hype died down extremely fast. Connecting to that, Fall Guys did get very popular when it first came out. Probably due to that, yes, it was a battle royale game. And Battle Royale games, when they first came out, it was very popular. Battle Royale games plus in Fall Guys, it was a wipeout Battle Royale containing 60 players. And it had a whole bunch of mini games and maps. And I feel like it got popular for, for a short time anyway. It was because it was, it was a new thing. Like you said, that nobody has seen before. And that's probably why it was very hype. And also, I know many people like watching the show Wipeout. And that's why they would also play that. Also, Fall Guys is a free game. And there was just a lot of hype around it. Because, yeah, it it was a new type of idea that was put into society. And with the hobbies that some of the gamers like, like Battle Royale and Wipeout, I would see them playing games and how that made Fall Guys popular. The next topic we will be talking about is the two new consoles releasing soon, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So, the specs are relatively the same, but the one major thing people are talking about between the two consoles is the PS5 Digital Edition, as it doesn't have a disk drive, which most consoles have, but it is $100 less than um, the PS5 with a disk drive and the Xbox Series X. I think the best point about these new consoles is basically the extra space that each one has. Both of them have, I believe, a one terabyte of storage, which is a lot, honestly. Because a PS4, I think, has the sum of five, 500 gigabytes. And basically, we double the storage of the PS4. And basically, that, like that in general is so much better off because as a PS4 user myself, having that a, a little amount of space means that it's constantly deleting games and re downloading games you want and deleting games like you kind of want but don't really want as other ones i think uh, both of the new consoles are getting 
better frame rates, which will definitely affect other players or other gamers. Because high frame rate means that the game's gonna run super smooth. And which which is appealing to many gamers because smooth gameplay is one of the essentials for good games and good gameplay overall. And I feel like higher frame rates on both consoles is definitely going to affect on people buying the consoles. Another thing that I'm talking about consoles is how much more similar it is getting to PCs. With 120 um, quotes and six, more than 60 frames per second, it's getting as close as to a regular PC as possible, which is really nice because it then allows many people to experience gaming on something like a PC much on a low price point because PCs cost, for gaming, it costs nearly a thousand dollars, five hundred to a thousand dollars, but the PS5 and the Xbox Series X is Four hundred or three hundred, depending on the price. Depending on the price point. I also can clearly see that both of the consoles have a new design, as the PS Five is going to a white scheme as its primary, and. One thing I noticed about the Xbox is it's more it's more of a actual box, which there might be a, many components inside though. And yeah, also for the PS5, the controller is also a new design. What do you guys think about that? I, I'm totally fine with that. Like, it, with the more space that my hands have on the controller is so much nice though as it takes on the shape of like a scuff controller uh, a, a scuff controller is like around like a third larger than like a regular door shock controller and like playing around with that for like a, a year or two and then Going back to Dosha, is like you feel your hand being like super close together, and also with like the controller having like, like they talk about it being uh, having haptic feedback, so you can actually feel like the trigger of a gun or like the drawback of a string, like in the triggers of the uh, controller. I think that just adds more of a emotion into that like video game as like you could feel the tension as like you pull back. In addition with the controller being bigger, it looks more and more like the Xbox controller. So I think the um, PS5 marketing team and the development team purposely did this so that they could try to attract more Xbox players to the PS4. As if the controller is similar enough, it will be a smoother transition from the Xbox to the PS5 because of the controller being somewhat more in a natural shape to the Xbox user. You're, you're thinking that PS5 is trying to steal fans from Xbox X and converting them to PS5? I, I think so because of if you convert more um, console users, you just gain more profit and due to um, the people who are already playing on Xbox being console players, but basically the same target market as regular PS5. Or PS5 players just playing on a different console. What do you guys think about like the the big 
big games. Oh, the seventy dollar games. Well, no, no, not not for cost, but like big storage games that take big games that take a bunch of storage. Uh, how do you how do you think that's gonna work with the new consoles compared to older consoles? What are your own thoughts on that? Uh, like due to the increased size of the storage in the co- new consoles. I'm perfectly fine with it. Like with the like Destiny, for example, take around no one hundred right now. One hundred right now. Um, it's taking up one hundred gigabytes of storage right now, which is a lot because that's like a fifth of the entire PS4 storage, and with that. Like having that on on the PS5 or Xbox, that'll just make it ten, which is like so much better in comparison. As there's so much more games in which you could put in, as well as that one game like Call of Duty, you could put in Ghost of Tsushima, Persona, like basically all the games you want to have. The next and last topic we will be talking about is the future in gaming. Of course, like, there's uh, one game on everyone's mind, which is Cyberpunk 77, or it's 2077, which basically the star is Keanu Reeves. That man, oh. Well, um, don't up with you. Um, like how people are look, people are looking forward to how the gameplay of it um cyberpunk is. But a trailer came out of for cyberpunk. It got a lot of backlash because of how the system was. Many people didn't like how um it, the system played. So, which goes on to how people think. Um, Cyberpunk is getting rushed. The game developers are being kind, like, needs to finish the game quickly due to the release date becoming so soon and um, them not having enough time to make the game better. Adding on to that, the most most game companies are rushing. They're new games because of quarantine they they need to get they need to get new content out there so then they could get paid and actually make profit and that's that's why i think some games are getting rushed and they won't actually and the games won't actually show their true potential or their their peak Releasing games, it, it is a double-edged sword. Like, yes, you can spend like twenty years to improve a game, but like with improving one game for twenty years, that means you are not getting paid for twenty straight years, basically. Well, you are getting paid, but not getting paid for that game in general. So, like, you have to have a balance of. Yes, I, I want this game, my game to be like as best as it can, but also I really need to pay the bills. And I think that balance is the fact that like sometimes games do feel rushed and like some events feel rushed, but it is due to like sorts of circumstances that they have to meet in which the retailers put on them. So, what do you think gaming's going to look like in the future? In the future, it'll look like more virtual reality. And because, like, technology is growing, like, really quickly. And, like, now, 
the Oculus is wanting just from its headset alone, and it is at like two hundred pounds I believe right now, like the Oculus Quest. I think with that, like people have more opportunities to have like virtual reality at the fingertips, and I think that like is going to be very useful, like in the like in the future, because like every century there will like researchers say like, there will be um, some sort of a pandemic that would hit like the world, but. Like, with VR, I think it will help, like, subside that feeling of loneliness, the feeling of, like, anxiousness and all that. I think this seems to be ideal with VR being really popular. I feel like there's going to be um, three different um, styles of games. Um, PC gaming, VR gaming, and on-screen gaming. Um, console or on screen because you see if PC and console could go both go into the on screen gaming, reason being I don't feel like everyone's gonna enjoy the fact that they're in the area in the environment itself because I feel like a lot of people will get motion sickness through that through the audience. So I feel like there's gonna be reasons for people to be Stay and play um, on on screen, not on um, in VR all the time. But compared to the way that we play games, I feel like the genres and the styles of the games will never change. As in, um, from the past, there are S FPSs and Post fun shooters and old lights. But I feel like the only thing that will happen now is genres from major genres. From world that comes um, souls lights. And from world that also came world lights. Which are just different variations of different Japanese genres in gaming. In addition to that, the stylization of some games is going to be different in the future as well. Because as of now, there's pixel art, which everyone knows is just drawing pixels to create a figure or an item or logo. And that type of pixel art was mainly used in older games because it, 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 those games didn't have a lot of data. It was difficult, but nowadays there's polygons instead of pixels, so you can make 3D characters. But some games still use these use pixel art just because of they enjoy how the style of pixel of how pixel art is. So I feel like in the future people will enjoy the style of pixel art still and enjoy the style of like the of polygons as I know there's going to be a new and better way of creating objects in video games. Today we talked about top games, new consoles, and the future in gaming. Gaming has many possibilities and is also extremely fun. This is Benny. For PCH TV.